the multi-dimensioned Christ method of ministry starts with mingling among people. Then it involves showing sympathy to those people. And then a very important step is ministering to needs. We can't ignore that. The ministering to needs part of Christ's method of ministry is so important. Often we assume that we know what the needs are and we don't take the time to research and to look and see what those needs are. They can range from the needs of very poor people through to the needs of rich people. They too can be lonely or find depression or have trouble with their kids. Some years ago, the Adventist Church had a wonderful slogan. It was called The Caring Church. Terrific, except for one problem. It's not a name we give ourselves. It's something that we have to earn. And we do that by caring for people, by ministering to their needs. Pleasure, take care. An important step of Christ's method of ministry is winning confidence. And it's not an artificial thing. It's something that comes almost organically after we've mingled with people and we've showed sympathy and we've ministered to needs. We've built those connections. We've reached that stage where they trust us. And when people trust us, that's then the platform for us to be able to engage in spiritual dialogue, to be able to talk about something more than just the weather or politics or whatever. And it's at that stage when we win confidence that we actually connect with people more than just at a trivial level. And we see how Jesus did that so often. Because he was one with people, because he loved them so much and showed them compassion, they invited him to their social gatherings, to their parties. Even sinners, knowing he was the Holy Son of God, loved to be near him because he had won their confidence. And that then provides the platform for us to be able to speak to them about important spiritual things. A vital part of Christ's method of ministry is to actually invite people to follow him. There are many steps in Christ's method of ministry and sometimes they get mixed up and blurred. We're mingling, we're showing sympathy, we're ministering to needs but we must look for and pray for opportunities to actually invite people to accept Jesus Christ as their saviour. This in many ways is something that just comes naturally that the Holy Spirit works in people's hearts, but we need to look for the opportunities to make that invitation. And as it comes up naturally in various situations, we tell people about why Jesus is so important to us. Of course, there may be some of our friends, some of the people that we've been mingling with and showing sympathy to who never accept Jesus as their saviour. We will still continue to show compassion and love and be their friends because that is what Jesus himself modelled. But what a wonderful opportunity to show what a difference Jesus makes in our lives and in, to invite them to be part of his wonderful salvation. The beauty of Christ's method of ministry is the way that it speaks to all dimensions of our life. It speaks to the importance of belief, but it also touches our physical needs, our emotional needs, and our mental needs. And it comes together in a beautiful, holistic package. And Christ's method is something that works anywhere among any group of people. It's particularly effective in urban areas where we see how centers of influence are a platform to put Christ's method of ministry into practice where we connect with the community and we bid them to follow Jesus. When Jesus was here on earth, he preached, he taught, but he also healed. And today we are invited to follow his method because we are told that his method and his method alone will bring true success.